Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today we are getting real about how to make your man last longer in bed. Because if he lasts longer, chances are better of you getting to the big O, sis. So I'm pretty sure you want to keep watching this video. So with no further ado, let's get down to business. Welcome back to my channel. Are you serious with me? Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> So we know from research that during partnered sex, it tends to take women quite a lot longer to reach orgasm than what it takes men. This tends to be because women are a little bit more in our heads than men. Now, of course, I'm generalizing here. This isn't specific to every person, but in general, we know that there is a connection between the brain and the vagina. And it essentially means that if we are not relaxed mentally, it's very hard for us to get aroused enough and to get our vaginas into the game enough in order to get to orgasm. We have lots of stresses around us as women. We have worries about our body image, how comfortable, how confident we're feeling, what the temperature of the room is, all the things that have happened in the lead up to getting down and getting physical. Just so many factors that can impact our ability to mentally relax enough so that we can get to the big O. In short, that shit takes time. We need time to get our brains into gear. A bit more time than what the gents tend to need. Again, I'm generalizing, so don't come for me. So the reason I'm making this video today is hopefully so that we can all come, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. I want to help you make your man, if you are someone who has sex with men, this is the video for you, I want to help you make your man last longer so that you've got more time to relax and more likelihood of getting to be, be and more likelihood of getting to the big O. I knew I would get that out at some point. I don't know why I stuttered because the big O is not something to stutter over. It's a very very good thing. But if you are a man who is watching this, then you can also learn a lot because you can just go ahead and you can apply these techniques yourself. But if you're a woman watching this, this is stuff that you can apply to your man. So look, everyone's gonna get something out of this, except maybe for the lesbians here. Yep, that's me. But I'm here to share some, some knowledge and some wealth. And for those of you that are always coming at me being like, why am I gonna take advice from a lesbian? Well, first of all, I'm a sex columnist and I've been making these videos for quite a few years now. And second of all, I spent quite a few years sleeping with men, y'all. So, you know, I know a few things about that department. And that's all I'm gonna say on that. If you're watching, then hopefully you're here to get some good advice. So let's just get straight into tip number one. One of the main reasons men tend to orgasm quickly or even orgasm before maybe even they want to orgasm is because of rushed foreplay. That is either not having any foreplay or having only a really small amount of foreplay before you are moving on to penetrative sex. In other words, penis in vagina sex. It is much more difficult for a man to hold off orgasm once he is already penetrating you. That's going to be the most sensitive time for a guy. So what you want to do in order to give yourself more time as a woman to get yourself into gear is to spend more time doing things that don't involve his penis going into your vagina. So that is gonna involve some communication because a lot of guys, after you've kissed for a few minutes, are just going to take your clothes off and try to put it straight on in there. So you're gonna to need to communicate to him, hey, I would like to do a little bit more foreplay and even give him instructions. Actually, the majority of men, if they are good partners and they're guys who wanna be good lovers, guys like the type of guys who watch this channel, because I know you all are invested in having better sex and being better lovers, then they're gonna wanna do what you want them to do. A really easy thing to ask your man to do is to ask him to go down on you before he inserts his penis in you. So once you've been kissing and he's taken off your clothes, before he goes to penetrate you, just say, hey, would you mind going down on me for a little while? What man is going to say no to that request? That is a damn hot request. That's gonna get him turned on, but it's also gonna give you more time to get turned on and to relax. Now, if 
receiving oral sex is not your thing maybe because you're just not sure that you're into it or your man is maybe not the best at it there are some other things you can do try some good old-fashioned fingering fingering has got to be one of the most underrated things a man can do to a vulva in bed vulva owners love fingering all vulvas enjoy fingering fingering feels really good because we have clitorises and clitorises feel really good to be manually stimulated because there's so many nerve endings on there and unfortunately when you have penetrative sex the clitoris usually doesn't get a lot of attention because the penis is just going into the vagina and the clitoris is more or less being left out which is a shame because the clitoris is actually the key to climax for roughly 70 percent of women according to most of the research we have out there now, I actually do not normally endorse using any kind of delay type products on the penis. And the reason I don't normally endorse that is because I've done all of the research and the products that are out there, they're not good. A lot of them cause numbness, which means that your man isn't really able to enjoy the sex at all. They also have a lot of transference, which means they can be transferred into your vagina and then make you numb so you're not enjoying the sex either and they can just be messy and just not very easy to use. But last year, I came across an incredible product and it's made by the guys at Promescent. They have since worked with me on a ton of videos and yes, they've worked with me to sponsor today's video. So thank you so much Promescent for sponsoring today's video. I actually love you guys. I love working with brands that actually bring really amazing sex wellness products to the market and Promescent do that because when I found their delay products, I was like, whoa, these are products that actually achieve all the things that I have not been able to find another delay product out there doing. The delay spray, which is their hero product, has very little to no transference. You don't have to worry about you as a vulva owner getting it on you and experiencing numbness. It also works more on the outer layer of the penis, so it's not really just fully numbing the penis and taking all the sensation away. What it's actually doing is just taking the edge off, but your man is still able to have tons of pleasure and be in the moment. And it's just really quick and easy to use. And what I love is that if you don't want to fumble around with a the spray, they've recently introduced wipes. And these wipes are game changers because it's literally just a satchel. You tear it open, get out the wipe, wipe it across the shaft of the penis, and you are good to go. So they're really handy and you can carry them around. You as a woman can just keep one in your pocket or your purse and you can whip it out during sex. Just work it into the foreplay and just rub it on his penis. Or as a man, if you're a man watching this, just go out and invest in some. I really wanna say you do not need to suffer from premature ejaculation in order to use and get immense benefits out of delay products, particularly effective delay products like the ones that promise and offer, like their delay spray, like the delay wipes. It's a real misconception that these products are only for men who suffer from premature ejaculation. These products are for any man that wants to get his woman to climax in bed because women need a lot longer than men to get to the big O. And if you want to help her get to the big O, you're going to need to delay your own O to help her get there. You get me? So go and check out Promescent. Of course, I have organized a special link for you guys. You're gonna get a great discount when you use this link. You're gonna get 15% off. Just hit the link and it's gonna apply the discount instantly. And yeah, go ahead and enjoy that and delay your orgasm so you can guarantee her hers. Yes, condoms do tend to make most men take longer to get to climax so that it's a really easy strategy to make your man last longer in bed now if you're in a long-term relationship chances are high that you're probably not using condoms anymore and it might be a bit of a touchy topic to just simply bring up using condoms your man might be wondering why do you want to suddenly use condoms you can actually go out and get some flavored condoms and tell him you want him to wear a flavored condom so that you guys can have fun with it and so that you can give him a blowjob that's a flavored blowjob or you can actually just communicate honestly and tell him I would like to have sex that lasts a little longer and I don't want you to be having to think of like the baseball score and thinking of like your grandmother and thinking of all these other things to stop yourself from climaxing I want you to just relax 
So let's just use condoms. The other thing that's really important when we're talking about having better sex with another person, because solo sex is a whole different issue, is that it's very, very hard to do it if you're not communicating. You can use the tips in this video, but Honestly, if you're trying to use these things on the sly, like you're trying to just discreetly bring out the delay wipe or you're trying to just discreetly, you know, without him knowing, just make that foreplay go a little longer or whatever it is, it's not going to work as a long-term strategy. You need to learn to communicate with your partner. And I know none of us likes doing this. It's awkward and it feels embarrassing because we've got taught so much shame around sex. But here's the thing, you're already doing the most embarrassing part. Trust me, you're getting naked, he's getting naked, you're naked together. That's the most embarrassing, most vulnerable, confronting part done. Simply talking to your man and saying, hey, I would love to have sex that lasts a little bit longer with you. That's the easy part. You do not have to shame him or make him feel bad. You don't have to tell him, Hey, you don't last long enough for me in bed and I can't get off. You can make it sexy and say, Sex with you is so hot. I want it to go longer and I want to use some of these strategies to make the sex go longer. What do you think about that? Actually ask him what he thinks and get him to buy in and be a part of it so that you guys are working together as a team. I cannot stress enough that the couples that have the best sex are not couples that use all of these amazing, incredible, skillful sexual techniques in bed. They're couples who know how to openly and honestly communicate about sex and to do it regularly. So if you want sex to last longer with your man, you are going to need to also start communicating with your man as well. But obviously, also, go out and check out Promessence Delay Wives and check out their Delay Spray as well. It's really their star product. It, regularly sells out for good reason. And honestly, with that discount, you guys are gonna get it so cheap. And when you buy from Promescent, you actually directly support me and this channel because it tells Promescent to keep working with me. And if they keep working with me, I get to keep doing this as a full-time job and bringing you guys new and more amazing educational sex content. So do go ahead and check them out if you can. If you like this video and you want more videos, on lasting longer in bed, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because I'm here with new sex positive, sex education content every single week and I'll see you all in the next video.